So I want to talk a little bit about the next steps. After you are able to play these long sustained notes, how can I fit in a little bit better? A reason why string players sometimes have a hard time fitting into a style like this is because we play way too legato. And part of that is because just the style that we're playing is a lot more rhythmic. It evolved from jazz and rock, and they just have a lot more space between their notes. And um, part of that is also because we, other instruments can run out of breath we don't. Our bow is our breath and if we run out of down bow we can just go up bow and so we just need to learn how to put that space into our notes. So I'm going to change my camera a little bit just so you can see and I'm going to start playing some quarter notes and eighth notes. Uh, if you are playing in your band and you, you hear all of a sudden that your drummer is playing some fills um, to build up to a bigger chorus that'd be a good time to like put in some eighth notes to help that sound build. Okay, so depending on the style of what your band is playing and the arrangement, uh, you might be able to work in some quarter notes and you really want to put some space in between them. So when I'm playing these quarter notes, I'm really putting some pressure down on my bow before I pull a down bow, and then putting some pressure on before I do an up bow. So for example, in the context of this song, to the cross side, better that way with some space and instead of to the cross side which might work in some context but um, usually it's gonna come across as just too muddy as uh, and it won't come across through the sound system and everything um, to be the way you want it to be so putting a little bit of space in there can be really helpful so let's start, I'm going to start the second half of the verse now with quarter notes, and then I'm going to build with eighth notes towards the end into the chorus. So I'm going to start it, for on my savior. For on it my savior. bouncing my eighth notes. Getting off the string is a really good way to get space in between your notes instead of it's just going to give a lot more punch to it. Hey string players, I hope that was helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions or topics you want me to cover. I'd love to help out. Keep playing!